Sorry, a great end to uh, 2012 when you made your debut on arguably one of the best shows of the year. Yeah. The uh, Frampton and uh, Josh Warrington fight. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, all I could ever ask for, really, uh, to get on a good show like that, big show. Trained hard for it. And I thought I boxed well tonight, you know, it was uh, it's memories that I'll live with for the rest of my life. It was, it was a great uh, debut for you, mate. Um, and like I say, considering where you come from to where you ended up, uh, massive, massive change, massive transformation. Yeah, I look at it myself, uh, you know, the old amateur fight on the internet, and now this one here, my first pro one. The difference is like... Unrecognisable. It's, it's like looking at a kid, and a man really, it looks like just look, looking at a kid, you know, yeah. just swinging about, flaying away. Well, you... you It'd be fair to say, you wasn't you could fight, but yeah. you couldn't really box, could you? No. Now no. you can do both. Yeah, I mean, it was the type of fight, you know. It was what it was anyway. It's how much is how I, much I suppose he, he, also he's nearly seven foot. That kid, you nearly seven foot tall. You know, I'm I'm <laughs> six foot. So he's a foot taller than me. If I'd have gone around the outside like I normally do, head jabbed off me. So I had to go forward and uh, put it on him. To be honest, but it how much does mean nothing anyway. It's for experience. At the end of the day, win, lose, a draw, get in and have a fight. Yeah. And now in the pros, I can see the tra me transitioning well. You know, it was a nice, calm, cool, collective, controlled performance. It seemed like, though, you were one of the coolest men on that night. Uh, you didn't seem to show. I mean, there was a lot of pressure on you. You're Tyson Fury's younger brother. You know, everyone's expecting a lot from you. You delivered, but you delivered it with a massive smile on your face. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the whole the whole week of that fight, you know, you can't, you, I'd, I'd love to you know the the public work out there, press conferences, what have you. You could never get me out of there, like I was all, I wanted to be there forever. And when I got in the ring, like, I got to the venue and just looked around it myself and took it all in. Yeah. And when I was on the ring walk, I thought, this is a bit of me, this, I, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> and I got in the ring, I just felt like I was in this, this ring gear, no, no different, just a few mm. more lights on you, a few more people watching and, you know, perform well. And on to the next one now. How do you find it here with all the lads? You enjoy it. It seems to be a real good crack. Oh yeah, 100%. The, uh, you know, we're like, we're like one big family in here and we all train together, you know. We all have a nice laugh in training. You know, training's hard, but around the lads and that, it makes it very easy, like, enjoyable sort of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's just, you know, it's an honour to come to the gym. You know, I can't say anything bad about my life because it's, it's a privilege to be a professional boxer, like, well, I there's think nothing you, bad about it. I think you come over to the general public in a way that no one expected because very humble as well, but yeah. fun. You know, it wasn't. It was. It was. You were a breath of breath of breath of can you say it? a breath of fresh air, mate. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know everyone who knows me, I like to be treat. I like to treat other people. I like to be treat myself, and uh, I'm not going to turn my nose for anybody because at the end of the day, I'm a young kid in the world, and uh, you got to respect your elders and learn and learn what you can because everyone's got something that you need, you need to know. Um, so I just take everything that everyone says on board to me, you know, and I take it in and that's, it, that's how you got to be in this game, but, you know, I'm a very humble person, got time for everyone, and I always will have, because at the yeah, end of the day... Yeah, but not everyone does, mate, so... As far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm a nobody, literally, I'm a nobody, you know, for last name, whatever, but I'm, I'm no one. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a boxer, there's a thousand of them like me, not done anything to separate me from the rest, yeah, I've got a big last name, but... So you, what? Do you feel, though, uh, over the next few years, People will you'll you'll be known for boxing because of you and not because of your brother. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not. I'd, yeah, of course. I mean, it's always going to be there. You, the, how far you've come in the last two years? Yeah, uh, I, I'm really impressed to see how far you go in the next two years, mate. Do you know what? It's all about uh, the right breaks and the right opportunities and what have you. And I've been thankful to have the you know the breaks and the good opportunities. Uh, and I'm, you only live life once. And mm -hmm. like I said in that press conference, I don't want to get to an age where I'm sitting back and be saying. Listen, I should have done this and should have done that. There's not a chance. <laughs> I'm here for a. I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time, and I'm going to take everything in my stride because, at the end of the day, it's a privilege. At the end of the day, so whatever comes my way, I'll be taking with both hands, and I can't wait. Well, like you say, trolls. it was nice to see you enjoy yourself, mate, and put on such a good performance. Yeah. When do you think the uh, round uh, two is going to be for you? Um, February 23rd, um, Leicester, the morning side arena, uh, on the Sandbone and Ronnie Clark Bill. All oh, right, there's a few of you. There's Nathan on there. Yeah, isn't me you? and Big Nate's on it. Yeah. We're going to pull up and uh, we're going to handle business and then we're going to go on a fat Nando's afterwards. <laughs> um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. We're, we train together, we fight together. You know, I look at Nathan like my brother. You know, every, every time, every, since I joined well, the well, gym. Well, your careers are very similar, aren't they? Yeah, of course. You it. know, we're both young lads. I mean, obviously, Nathan's miles and miles ahead of me in the game, but it's nice because I can yeah, train Yeah, but where he side. started, well, it was similar, wasn't it? About 12 yeah. amateur fights, similar to yourself. Yeah, the same um, amount of amateur fights. Uh, 
Well, as I say, watching Nathan train in the gym, you know, because mm. I'm, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that Nathan will go all the way. So knowing that I'm training and watching, see how he does things. Even on the pads, I'll lean, I'll lean on the rope and watch him for a good four or five some rounds. Skills for a big guy, isn't he? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you can tell me another heavyweight, you know, of the, apart from Tyson, the top boys, who's got mm. that kind of hand speed, let me know because for a big man, you know, 18 and a half stone, six foot five in the air. I've never seen speed like that before. No, no, he is. He's a special talent, and uh, hopefully yourself will develop that way as well, mate. So listen, whatever you know, what's for you won't pass you by. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna train really hard. I'm gonna keep training really hard, and wherever I get to, I get to. But I'll know I've given me best shot. But uh, I'm just gonna crack on, enjoy life, and uh, enjoy what I'm doing, and uh, I'm gonna make the best of my life. All right. Well, good luck for the 23rd down in Leicester, and hopefully the next time I see you, you'll be two 0 Perfect. Thanks a lot, pal. Take care, mate. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>